All right, on go from three. Let's do this. All right. Hold on. Make sure that's off. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, who's going to start first here? Who's going to start first? Ah, we got Teak starting first. Okay. I move a follow behind. All right, let's get some high volume here. All right, both of these runners know exactly what they need to do. I can just tell by the way they're controlling Mario just a little bit that these guys are a little nervous. They did definitely express in the Discord uh, that they are a little nervous here. I would be too, man. Lots of money on the line. Lots of money on the line. The status though, the status. If, if, if Teeks can knock out Booba, then that means all three seasons of the points tournament has had different winners. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool if you think about it. But so far, both runners not really doing anything different of normal speedrun strats, getting movements one versus movements of two. Uh, not really a whole lot's changing. There's gonna be a big difference here to see what happens. Teeks isn't gonna go for the orb and neither is Booba. That's a good idea. You take damage there, that's a big time loss. That is a very big time loss. All right, here we go. First trick, the MFP tunnel. Let's see if Teeks can nail it. The, it's gonna come down to tricks like these guys. These one single points, man. It's all gonna come down to this pretty much. Always stuff like that. Teeks nails it! Oh, and I Booba misses it! Teeks is definitely feeling good right now. He's definitely feeling good. That is a big, that is a big, big, big one right there. But it could all change if I Booba does get the leaf from the mushroom house. We don't know who's gonna get what yet. All right, here we go. Teeks and Ibuba gonna get the early P speed. Looking good. Both runners playing well. Very nice. Gonna get the flower and gonna get the star. Very nice. So as you can see, they're both very close in terms of time. Not a whole, not a big difference. Looks like the starting difference is almost the same. Booba is going to get the flower though from the Hammer Brother, which is gonna be pretty nice. Team one chest failing. You wanna know what chests fail all the time, guys? Chest one and three. Nobody goes for team middle chest. Come on, Booba. Be the fan favorite, man. Team Middle Chest. Ah, Team Middle Chest with the leaf. I knew it. I told you guys. I told everyone all the time. Team Middle Chest never fails, man. Never fails. Everyone is doing... Oh, no throne jumps from either runner. Damn. Yo, Team Mid Chest. That's right. And no throne jumps. What did I tell you guys? Booba's sitting here thinking, thank God I got that. Thank God I got that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go team middle chest. All right, let's scroll down. We know both runners are probably gonna go for the spade card game. Teek's now getting his fire flower and boom, just like that. So both of these runners know for sure that if either runner got both, they would only be one point behind. So the fact that Booba got the leaf and Teeks got the tunnel, they can both say to themselves, well, I didn't get the leaf, so if Booba did and got the tunnel, then he's, I know he's one point. So they actually know where each other stand. They just don't know if he, each runner got two. I mean, Teeks could be thinking Booba didn't get tunnel or the leaf. But in that case, he would still only be one point. So we got Teeks in first. And Booba in second. I'm going to try and swap back and forth the first and second here with the points. Try and do a progressive play here when it comes to time. We'll see how that goes. But first things first, we got 2-1 to take care of. Pretty easy level. Right, looking good for me, the runner. These runners know the game very well, man. They know what levels are like super easy, levels they don't have to worry about, but then they know what they also have to worry about. 
Honestly, one of the biggest things about Racing Mario 3 is the decisions you have to make on the fly, man, because the game changes so much. All right, so what's the what's the card play going to be? Are they going to clear it? Are they only going to go for specific items? They got to do the cheat sheet, and Booba finds the 10 right away. Oh, t wow, Teeks goes fast with the 10. Booba is going to get his... Okay, so Booba is going to go for items. Not bad. Booba didn't lose too much time. And he's got the extra power-ups. Very nice. All right. Teeks did not fall in the moat right there. Okay. I thought iBooba was going to have that weird momentum that you can get uh, from the platform. But luckily, he didn't. And no fanfare from either runner. Right on. Next up, we have Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Nice, getting uh, delayed P speed in the Fortress for Teeks. Let's see what Ibuba gets. Let's see if he does the stomp. Yeah, he's not gonna do the stomp. Okay, he also gets the slightly delayed P speed. is only one room behind. Looks like he's about two rooms behind. Let's see, Teeks heads to the door, 558. Oh, looks like Ibuba's behind by a solid 10 seconds. We're at 10 seconds right now, 11, 12, he's 12 seconds behind. Oh, someone's got to get a no death early hammer here. All right, Teek's gonna go for red rocket. Looking good, he's got some good jumps. He's got some clean paths here. Didn't jump too early. Oh, he did jump too early. And I, Booba's boomerang bro moves backwards. Whoa, was not expecting that. Just as I was going to say it, it happened. I could have sworn he, he got a solid jump. And Booba is getting um, ahead a little bit there with one Boomerang Bro moving backwards. So B uh, Booba needs to get this to tie it back up. And Teeks has not fought a Hammer Brother yet. Booba looks like he's in the clear, and he's in the clear. He gets the Red Rocket. He's still in second place right now for time. Teeks is definitely, definitely... Um, Giving himself a hard time for that one. Red Rocket is definitely one of the easier uh, points in the tournament. Although we have seen some people fail it quite a bit. You know, it's happened. It's not uncommon, but for runners like these who've been made their way all the way to the top practicing. And Teeks also gets backwards, bro. That could be a good redeem, man. Oh, whoops. Whoops. There we go. I guess the music box. Neither runner has taken damage yet. Teeks is going to go for the safe path, the 2-5. Very nice. I'd love to see both runners get backwards, bro. Booba going for the harder level, but it is a little bit faster. Teeks definitely had to do a couple extra map movements here. So Booba is going to be able to bring it back a little bit by doing this. And just like that. Just like that. Neck and neck in the pyramid, man. This is exactly what we wanted from semifinals. Woo! Very nice. All right, Teeks. Backwards, bro. Oh, and he doesn't get it. He's so close. Very unfortunate. All right, Ibuba needs to get backwards, bro. And he does get it. Wow. Okay. And just like that. Oh, a little late to the throne jump, Teeks. A little late to the throne jump. All right. Not bad. What do you guys think so far? Unfortunate World 2 for Teeks there. Very unfortunate World 2 for Teeks. World 2 for Teeks. They are 6-6 six, six right now because Ibuba is behind in time. So he's got the second place on his marker where Teeks is ahead in time. So he's got the first place. All 
All right, moving on to world three. Neither runner has lost their fire flower yet, so we're... It's getting a little nerve-wracking because, they, like I said, man, points, the, the, these one points. Oh man, that was a that was an annoying battle there for Teeks, but he does secure it and he still is in the lead. All right, Ibuba. Oh wow, Ibuba with the duck strats and he nails it. Wow, that was very scary. Uh, no lifeline from our runners yet. I highly doubt we're gonna see a lifeline be used. Oh, that was uh, that was nuts. All right, let's see, man. The shared points. The shared points. Oh, Teeks. I think Teeks tried to metronome there. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see if Ibuba gets it. Oh, and Ibuba doesn't get it. Okay, okay. Neither runner knows that they didn't get it. So both runners are going to let that probably bother them a little bit. Um, I don't know about anyone else in chat, but when I'm in races, every time I make a mistake, I always instantly jump to the idea that my opponent didn't make that mistake and I'm losing. I always do that. Except for at GDQs, because I can see, you know, how bad or good the mistakes are. Alright, very nice 3-1 for both runners. Teek's not going to be able to get that early P-Speed. Um, let's hope he doesn't go through any fish here. Needs to get a good safe jump. That was good. It's a great opportunity for Booba to catch up if he gets P-Speed. He does get P-Speed. He is going to be able to catch up. No coin ship range for either runner, which is very nice. And I think they're both on the edge of Runaway Bro. I want to see them both get Runaway Bro. I want to see them both get Runaway Bro here. Let's see. Let's see. Teeks does get Runaway Bro. RNG is very nice to him right now. That is something he needed. Runaway and Booba is not close to Runaway. So, Ibuba got some RNG points so far, and so has Teeks. Oh, Teeks fall in the water. Oh, this is a great chance for Booba to take the lead right here. They are neck and neck. Wow. Ibuba's going to have P-Speed for the rest, of the rest of the level here at the end. He does keep it. Wow, very close to each other. Hammer Brothers still run away. Booba not going to be able to get an opportunity here. Teeks is going to go for door four. If I Booba doesn't go for door four, he will take the time lead. Teeks is going to go for door four. Teeks gets it. Oh, and Booba does not get it. A fantastic world three so far for, for Teeks. I Booba not getting the RNG, not getting the skill points. Very tough right here. Very tough right here. But we have heard Booba say he's not overly concerned about certain single frame tricks. We're going to see Teeks use the music box here, so he's going to have to make some good plays in World 5. We have seen some runners, runners only have one music box for World 6. Use it to knock at the inventory star. Nice music box for Booba, and now Booba is now in the level with him. Neither runner again, still not taking damage. Teeks finally gets his P-Speed back. He gets a weird sticky hill in this level. A couple things are happening to Teeks that are just not, not normally what happens to him the three three the three four three two didn't work he's had three levels not work for him so far three two three three and three four have not worked for him let's see if three eight can work for him let's see how three eight is nice i booba joins him all right looking good for teeks he's back he's back in action although this is a very easy level but he's back oh i booba what it what All right. Ooh, Teeks is very close to a coin ship. The problem is, is he's going to hit a couple blocks here. Oh, no. Oh, God. Here comes Booba. Booba's catching up. Is he going to get the H jump? Oh, my goodness. This is crazy right now. Nice. And Teeks does not have to worry about 66 coins. 
This is this has been such a weird world three for Teeks. He has messed up over half the levels, but he's gotten two points, and he didn't lose Fire Flower. And Ibuba is just Ibuba's barely making any mistakes, but not able to secure the points. Look at how much Ibuba was able to catch up. That is fantastic. Boom. They are in the throne room together. Amazing. Amazing. Both runners still have their lifeline. Uh, Ibuba fell behind, uh, because he had a longer spade card game than Teeks. And they both have been playing very, very similar to each other for the rest so far. Yeah, the card game, Buba was an extra five seconds in there, five or six seconds, I think. And, uh, he just hasn't been able to catch up. That's about it. No lost Fire Flower for either runner, very nice. Very, very good World 3 for Teeks. Moving on to World 4. Moving on to World 4. Moving on to World 4! All right, so Teeks is gonna enter the pipe at 1649. Booba is gonna enter the pipe at 1655. Six seconds, guys. All right, bottom P speed strategy. Very nice for Teeks. Almost, I feel like he almost went top. Nice, Booba gonna grab the shell strat. It's gonna cost him a couple seconds here, but he nails it. Very nice. Very, very much worth it. Boom, boom. Uh, if Booba gets the time lead here, they could be 9-9 right now. Uh, not possible for a marathon to happen after the first level, so we're gonna have to wait until after level 2. Very nice. Level 4-2, definitely one of the easier levels in the speedrun. Definitely, definitely one of the easier levels in the speedrun. Teeks not getting a marathon. I booba. Uh, uh, we don't know yet. Moving to one, two, three. No, nope, no marathon. That was moving to four. Nice try. Nice try. Both in the same level. Teeks almost side bumping. Gets the duck jump. Doesn't lose fire flower. Very nice. Followed by booba here. He's going to do the same thing. Yep. Double hit. Duck jump. Almost misses the ledge and does a slightly different finisher at the end of the level. Looking good though, looking good. No marathon for Teeks yet. Whoa, very nice. Not using that star, but still takes damage anyways. A great opportunity for Ibuba to clear in a solid couple seconds. He's gotta nail it though, and he does. As long as he doesn't take damage, he doesn't. He's gonna catch up quite a bit here from that. Yep. Nice, gets two double taps. Then a single, boom, Teeks. Oh, Teeks cannot get that movement of four. Or that, or that marathon. Ibuba also not getting a marathon. And just like that, Ibuba's not quite in the lead yet, guys. Don't get too excited, Teeks. Oh, dodged a bullet, not forced to fight the star, bro. That is amazing. That is amazing. He almost lost a point right there for Teeks. The luck is definitely on his side right now. This is insane. Ibuba finishing with a strong 280 in 4-4. That's a nice time. All right, Ibuba. 
I Booba obviously just got a marathon right there. I Booba with the marathon. He's going to put them to sleep. He doesn't know exactly which one he needs to fight. Teeks is going to have to put them to sleep. I Booba has not got his cloud yet. Doesn't know what to do. Teeks doesn't have Fire Flower. Is he equipped for this level with all the ducks? I Booba panics a little bit. Oh my god. Nice. I've seen that strat done by Teeks. I Booba needs to make sure. Does all of his duck jumps and he nails them. And so does Teeks. Very nice. Just like that. Look at that. All right. So what do we got here? Ibuba might have to skip a star, which means he's got to do 5-9. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. It's worth it's worth the point. No runner going to get P-Speed. Uh, but if Ibuba has to do that extra auto-scroller, he's definitely, definitely behind right now. We'll see. Maybe they can switch. If the Hammer Brothers switch, then that, that's probably the cloud right there. I don't know which one's which. Nobody does. It's impossible to know right now. So let's see what happens. Okay, so they switch. Yeah, 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 fight that one. Yeah, yeah, no, no, fight it. It's not a star. It could be the cloud. It's probably the cloud. Boom, cloud right at the end there. What? That's crazy. Hammer Brother going to... Oh, nice. Okay, so he gets the extra P-Wing. Not a big deal. He's forced to get the extra P-Wing. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. He still is preserving no inventory stars. Insane point game right there. All right. Right, that's insane. He panicked there, but the two Hammer Brothers move in the same direction are both the P-Wing and Cloud, so he knew you would know. What do you guys think of this race so far? I love this airship. I love this airship. Yeah, right? Teeks did a full clear world three and Booba did a full clear world four. Crazy, man. Moving on to world five though. World five has been like a very big make or break world for a lot of runners. Ibuba has got the back pocket point as well. When is the finale? We don't it can't we can't figure it out yet. We don't know. All right, here we go. He's going to be the first one. Oh, he misses. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A little slow kill there. All right, Teeks at the 23.03. 23.03 for Teeks right there. Twenty-three oh three for Teeks. Ibuba is going to be a little over 20 seconds behind. That's 20 seconds right there. 24 seconds behind. That's a hand. That's a hand stage. He's got the extra P wing too. Teeks is gonna go for his P wing here. Very nice fly for Teeks. Not easy. Not easy. Moving a four right away. That's, I love to see a moment. All right, Teeks is gonna go for the shaft here. Hopefully Ibuba doesn't get a bad fly here. He needs to make sure, nice. That was so close. He almost messed that up. It's very nice though. Teeks now gotta not mess up his pipe entry. Very nice. All right, here we go, points. Points all around. Take damage on the plants. Does the grab block. That's so scary, that grab block. 
Booba, I'm very worried about the way he does this. Oh, I thought Teeks was going to miss it, but he does not. All right. Teeks gets the fall. Now it's like Booba's turn. Teeks. No, nope. he's got one movement of four so far. Wow, Booba almost didn't make it, man. That's crazy. Very nice for Booba. He does get it, though. I'm, it scares me so much the way he does it. But that's him, man. He does what he's comfortable with, right? Hi, Booba. Not getting another movement of four here. Yeah, I don't think he's gotten one yet. So, sadly. Big sad. Uh, Teeks has got his Hammer Brothers down there. That's going to be really tough to get movements of four while he's up in the clouds. It's going to be really tough. Booba still not getting any movements of four here. Teeks getting Teeks getting gated by the pipe there. It's getting piped it. They're both in the twisty castle at the same time, so that's awesome. Teeks with the 89 coins, not having to worry about coin ship. And I don't think Booba's gonna have to worry about coin ship. Teeks still only one movement of four right now, and here it is. We saw Teeks practicing this 20 minutes before the race. Let's see how it goes. Oh, big jump. Easy. He's got it. Uh, that's a big jump. Easy. I was a little worried there. That was a little delayed. Oh, the one frame save. All right. Ibuba with the 12 coins. He's in the clear. Now it is his turn. Ibuba still no movements of four. Teeks still no movements of four. That's what he needs. Now he's got to get early PCP for the shared points. It's looking good, man. Oh, Ibuba with the turn back. He's good. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, wow. Oh, man. All right, Ibuba has to get early P-Speed here. He's not getting movements of four, so he's going to have to... Yes, he's going to use the star. Make sure. Guaranteed. And he does get it. Neither runner is going to get the shared point there, so they're in the same boat. Teeks is going to get the early Fire Flower. Very nice. Teeks getting that last movement of four, but the Hammer Brother is in his way. He is one movement of four. He's got to hope that his Hammer Brothers move their asses all the way up there, man. Nice. I Booba gets his peace speed back. That's going to be good. No, man. Movements of one. That's what you hate to see, man. You hate to see it. Ibuba finally getting one movement of four right there. Finally getting one movement of four right there. Nice turn back from Ibuba. Teeks. Nah, he's got one more chance to get a movement of four. And if the Hammer Brothers are doing a movement of one, he can't. He can't get a movement of four. He's got to hear a movement of two first. So that's it. He's out of the movement of four game. But Ibuba is in a position where he could get another one here. He doesn't get another one, unfortunately. Antiques had a very fast World 5. A very fast World 5 because um, Ibuba is definitely a solid level behind. I mean, there was a moment where they were in the throne room at the same time, and now they are not. And we're still in hands range, though. Hi, Booba. This is his... Even if he gets it here, that would be... Yeah, he didn't get it anyways. All right, no runner got movements before. They both got the same world of five. That's awesome. That's awesome.
Don't you love to see it? Big my big in big park. Right, here we go. Teeks going for that fire kill, man. Nutty. He's getting movements of one, so why not, right? A 3016 when the music started there. 3016 when the music started. So let's see what kind of time difference you're talking about. 3016, we're 10 seconds behind for Ibuba right now. Okay. 20 seconds. Thirty seconds. About, th about thirty seconds, half a minute here. All right, Teeks is going to get low pattern first. Very nice. Low pattern first. Teeks is getting low. He's getting a movement of four there. That is a bad movement right there. That was a movement of three actually. That's a bad movement though, um, because now the star is close to him. Oh, he doesn't want to panic. Very nice. Hi, Booba, missing that. Missing that pipe entry. It's, it's all time, man. It's all time. Booba getting high pattern. Okay, so we got high and low. We got low for Teeks, high for Booba. Nice. Teeks getting star kill. Very common for these runners. Nothing special so far. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's a bad movement for Teeks, man. If that Hammer Brother moves down. I Booba is going to save a bit of time on Teeks for the strat he just used, but Teeks is going to get early P speed. He does some left right flip flaps, but he does make it work. Very nice. Very nice. He gets through that early P speed. That's another thing that's going to set I Booba back a little bit. Um, early P speed in 6-4 is not always guaranteed. You can't guarantee you're going to get it. And there it is. The horrible movement from Teeks. That's going to set him back a full stage. That's going to get. I Booba the advantage he needed right there. Teeks not having that extra music box. <clears throat> I Booba not gonna get early P speed and Teeks is definitely gonna get the despawn right there. Very nice. So now Teeks without the music box has to do the Piranha Plant stage at the end of World 7 where I Booba so far doesn't have to. Let's see, let's see what happens. Oh, he's going to go for Hammer Suit and opt in to maybe do 7-7 seven, seven or something. We'll see. <clears throat> Imagine just randomly it was a Frog Suit, not a Hammer Suit. It would make no sense at all. All right, Ibuba going to go for the despawn strategy. Teeks is going to get the Cloud here. Oh, and Teeks gets another low pattern. Not a very nice World 6 for Teeks. Not a very nice World 6 for Teeks at all. He gets two low pattern. Not going to be able to get that point. Also doesn't have the back pocket point here. All right, let's see what happens for Ibuba. He needs to fight the Hammer Brother facing left. And that is that one right there. Does he get low pattern? No. Wow, these runners are getting the same crap. But the Hammer Brother, man, he needs to see it when he when he does this. He needs to see it. He's getting the no star. And he does see it. He's going to be able to screen scroll and avoid it. So he is going to be able to save that extra, that extra music box. So Ibuba is going to gain a solid 10, 20 seconds here in World 7. We might not see it though because of the clips, right? We, we might not see it actually come into play. If Ibuba messes up the clip for 20 seconds, then, you know, it's not going to look like any time save at all. So it all depends here. Um, and Teeks, Teeks is going to go for subpixel manipulation in the pipe, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, he's going to go back into the pipe. Move one pixel to the left, and it's going to kind of slide him down. And Ibuba remembers to use his leaf. Very nice. And didn't give him his P-Speed. The leaf, man, got you baited. Teek's going to go. Gets it first try. That is very good for him. Ibuba is not going to waste time by going in that pipe. So he's very close to him. He's catching up. 
Ibuba has the extra power up though for uh, six, four, three. Oh my gosh, are we gonna get clips here? Ooh, I don't know, man. But Ibuba's gotta get this first try to stay. He's gotta get a first try. Oh, and he doesn't get a first try. So Teeks definitely gets the wall jump. Booba gets a second try, but doesn't execute his jump. Gets a third try. Ooh, Teeks flip flapping a little bit too. Gets his P speed back. Oh, oh, and he doesn't get it. I wonder if Teeks is like, great, Ibuba definitely got it. We don't know, man. We, we only know Ibuba's gotten it twice in two seasons. We, we don't know if he's, you know, gonna get it all the time here. He wants to use his Fire Flower, but not sure. Oh, Teeks! Messing up those Boom Boom battles. That's rough. All right. Let's see if Ibuba gets this. Oh, and he doesn't get it. And he knows. He knows we're all watching. Yep, yeah, he's got a teabag the floor right now. There we go. Nice, gonna get the fire kill, catch up a little bit there. Wow. Wow. He has, he got he used the leaf and he was tied with teeks and points. He was equally tied. As soon as he finally tied it up, he gets the point taken from him. Right, he gets it. The wall jump. Moving on to world seven. Your heart's pounding. How you guys feeling about this race? Ibuba should be able to gain a little bit of time back here. And Teeks is going to go for the guaranteed subpixel 15. Very nice. I hope he didn't hold for it. I hope he definitely tapped there. Hope he definitely tapped there. All right. 7-1 sucks. All right. Booba's not going to go for the fire kill. Don't blame him, though. It's, it's, it can be very scary. And again, these runners don't know where they are. And have we seen a lot? Li no lifelines yet. No lifelines. Teeks with the setup where Booba didn't, so Booba was able to bring a little bit of time back here. All right, here we go. Yeah, very nice. Guaranteed 100% subpixel 15 with what he did there. Unfortunately, no points though. The Saints season one. All right, Booba needs to get this as well here. Oh. oh second try! That's what you want to see! That's what you want to see! And Teeks can use his star here because he's got the hammer suit. That's right. He doesn't need to use the star in 7-8. Uh, Very nice for Teeks. He's going to get the pipe to pipe. That makes everything better. The pipe to pipe. And Ibuba is going to be able to save that star, which is very nice because he used the star in the fortress in World 4. Oh, Ibuba, that's unfortunate. He's going to have to do a scary, scary 7 3. Not going to be able to get pipe to pipe. Teeks does not want to get punished here. Does a quick snap turn back. Doesn't get Sticky Hill. Very nice. Very nice. No bumps yet for me, the runner. No bumps for Teeks. Ibuba with a very solid 7-3. He's a little scared, right? Because of the, the small Mario. No bumps for Teeks still. Teeks got to go for the 83. 
He does get the P build. No bonks yet for Booba. Teeks does get the 183 though. And so, I mean, so does I Booba. Teeks gonna get first try. Oh, he jumped a little too late. Not getting it second try. This is it. Booba's catching up. Oh, he's jumping a little too late. Come on, Teeks earlier. Yeah, there you go. 183 for Booba. Oh shit, they're gonna be in the same level at the same time right here. Teeks doesn't have time for this because he has to do the extra piranha plant. Does Booba get this first try clip? Oh, he misses two! Is he gonna spend time and he gets his second try? Wow, iBooba definitely caught up here. Okay, so what's Teeks gonna do? He already has he already has the hammer suit. Is he just gonna do 7-7? Seven, seven? Easy. No, he's not, and he's not gonna use a star here. He's gonna have to do a side jump here. Wait. Yeah, he's gotta take. Go, go, go. Oh, he's not gonna go. Oh, that was very scary. Ibuba has the star here. Oh, he messes that up. Okay, he gets the star back. Right in there. Look at that. One enters and one exits. Jeez. Ah, oh, Teeks takes damage. That, or er, 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 Booba takes damage. That's going to be so big here. Teeks has the extra hammer suit as well. Okay, Teeks has to. I would have got the star, man. I'm too scared. I Booba's going to get the star here. Very nice. It's going to be much easier for him. Way less stressful. <laughs> it's too stressful for me to watch, man. It's all coming down to the hands, guys. Because Booba is going to take the lead right here. Booba is going to take the lead in time right here. Just like that. Teeks is in second. Booba is in first. The Swip Swap right there. 16 to 15. Boom. All because... Oh my gosh, dude. Crazy, no lifeline, but Teeks has hammer suit. Booba does not. No bonks from either runner. That was way too intense. I almost completely forgot about the bonks. Way too intense. All right, we're coming into world eight. Teeks had an amazing fortress, but Booba just had that extra time. All right, we're in auto scroller land, guys. Find out after a quick commercial break. It's all down to the hands, man. It's all about the hands. Yesterday, we had two out of 12 hands. That's insane. Everyone's running out of luck for the year. No, no one's gonna get no hands for the rest of the year now. Oh, Boob almost took damage there. All right, Booba hit it at 44.33. A 
for five seconds. Auto scroller land. Auto scroller. Gives me a chance to rest my throat. Da, da, da. Rangless is gonna it's gonna boost a bit. Rangless will boost Booba a little bit here. Alright. Booba's gonna be the first to finish. This is definitely gonna come down to hands in terms of time. Yes. Yes. And Booba gets Rangless, jeez! Oh, and Teek's got a long, long Rang. All right, here we go. I'm back. I didn't actually go anywhere. I was just watching quietly. All right, here we go. Oh, Teeks misses the hammer. It's gonna cost him a little bit of time. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. get one hand unfortunately teeks got hand one which might throw him back a little bit here if he only gets one though this could be a big difference he only needs to get one man only one ah only one oh man okay this is insane uh booba did get the longer hand stage This is nuts, man. More auto scrollers, though. <sighs> T 
Teague should be slowly catching up a little bit with a couple boom boom kills. Not a huge amount of time, but some stuff. Oh my gosh, they're so close. Bowser fire kill could be the difference. A 5004 into the pipe versus a 5008. Man, the four seconds. That's it. Menuing could be a big thing here, too. Teeks knows exactly where his star is, man. He definitely saved a bit of time there. I booba gonna get P speed. They're gonna go for the combo points. Looking good from both of our runners. Oh, Teeks gets the slowdown! Oh, and that is unfortunate. Teeks is not going to be able to get the combo points. That random slowdown. He let go of Duck way too early. All right, here goes Ibuba, though. Is Ibuba going to get the combo point? Hey, it could be a dev it could be conveyor conveyor P speed, right? Yeah, Teeks had a bigger slowdown too, which could cause them the race in time. But it's all determined by the Discord, guys. The Discord is the uh, the real time dot done. So we'll see. Oh, he takes damage. He's gonna have to backtrack. No way. No way. No way. And he takes damage again. Wow. What? Teeks took damage. This is insane right here. Is Teeks gonna get conveyor P speed? Teeks does get conveyor P speed. Teeks gets conveyor. We're back at 1817. Teeks is in the lead now with time. Ibuba also gets conveyor P speed. They are tied, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely tied. 18 to 18. And Teeks has his extra hammer suit. Oh my gosh. Yo, I would equip my hammer suit before Bowser. I would have not, not even taken a chance in this. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Teeks took damage from the death waffle. The last one in the room. All right, last auto scroller. I can't believe Booba took damage twice. That I wonder if Booba's thinking to himself, I just lost the race because he took damage twice. Because if so, that's 100% accurate. 100% true so far. That is insane. That little... Oh, man. Crazy. But they are tied right now. No sub 54 though. It doesn't matter. Booba's safe here. Booba is safe. Uh, Teeks will lose. Teeks will lose this race by one point if he takes damage. Uh, Booba is perfectly fine though. He's got 18 in second place, and Teeks has 18 in first place. Jesus, man. No, runners are going to use their lifeline after second race. And I, I'm... I'm guessing both runners are going to use it after the first race. Wow. This is so silly. Yeah, 
Yeah, Teak's definitely finished first. This is ridiculous. If the pressure, if the pressure wasn't on for these runners, it is now. All right, we got game two coming up, guys. We give these runners a quick little break. We got game two coming up. Yo, give a huge shout out to BTL Makes, man. Making all my overlays and all my artwork, man. That dude is awesome, man. BTL Makes is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. BLTs are love too. That's right. BLTs are good. Yeah. Thank you everyone for supporting the tournament. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all for the bits and donos and uh, subs. As always, everything goes to supporting future seasons of this. So if you guys enjoy this and you want to support me, but also support something else, definitely go for it. Go. It all goes towards more seasons. Am I going to get back to your normal stream schedule once with the tourney? Yeah. Yeah. When the tournament's over easily. Yeah, tournament is hard for me to stream consistently because I go around the runners, the runners schedule it. Yo, Trash Panda with the 10. What up, dude? What up? Thank you very much, dude. Um, yeah, like I, I can't stream for six hours in the morning and then, you know, the runners are like, oh, we're going to do three races tonight. Like that'll just destroy me. So I just put all my energy into the tournament. Do you guys support Twitch? I mean, I guess so. I guess that's the way we got to go. Yeah, thanks for the subs, man. Yo, welcome back for three months. Thank you guys very much. Let these runners take a quick little break. Am I in a hot tub right now? I am not in a hot tub. Why not? I would not be able to do this in a hot tub. Yeah, season four will be sometime around November. Yeah. Yeah, race two coming up. Race two coming up. That's awesome, would be no problem. Here, you guys want to watch me play drums? Where's um, where's that video? 
Uh, let me see if I can find it. Is this Hot Tub Live or Hot Tub Replay?
It's just Booba's stream. I can't really fix it too much without changing. I'd have to like change the video video size. The window size. Alright, both runners still have their lifelines. I'm guessing both runners are gonna use their lifelines here. Both runners are definitely gonna use their lifelines here. I don't know. They're not using it. They might use it after the first world. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. But both runners getting their mushroom in 1 1. Looking good. Teak's gonna get early P speed, and so is Booba. So it looks like pretty, pretty normal here. Imagine not using your lifeline and tying, and then you lost because you didn't use your lifeline. That would suck. All right, both runners getting movements to two, getting the same hammer brother movements. Probably gonna do the same thing here with the death waffle. Uh, game two, it, it's it's weird. You'd think game two would be harder for the runners because they're running out of steam, but um, I think most of the time, season two, or sorry, season three has been, game two has been insane. But in the semifinals and the quarterfinals, game one and two have been crazy. They've all been crazy. All right, who's going to be first? Who's going to get the tunnel? It's going to be big news. He's going to go for it. He's going to miss it. Booba's going to go for it. Booba's going to miss it. They did the exact same thing. Yes, dude. That's what I'm talking about. No lifeline yet. Oh, that's big. That's big. Both Hammer Brothers are doing the same thing right now. Gonna have to get that power up. Booba's gonna catch up a little bit. I think Teeks did a slightly higher bounce off that turtle. He's gonna get that early P speed. Booba is also gonna get that early P speed. Very nice. They are, they are pretty close to Tide, yes. Slight variations, slight map movements, slight Hammer Brother movements, but for the most part, they are, they are sync. All right, Team Middle Chest! No! No! <laughs> Guys, in the last, like, four matches of this tournament, only one person has got a leap from that Mushroom House. Like, what? Like, what? This is insane. That toad needs to be smacked. Did Teeks miss his throne jump? I know Ibuba got a throne jump. Frig, man, Teeks. I'm pretty sure in race one, Teeks nailed all of his throne jumps except for world one. Very nice, very nice, both runners. They are tied, guys, they are exactly tied. Uh, no lifelines yet. What? No. Dude, imagine a clutch lifeline in the finals. Feropin does not have his lifeline, so if the winner of this match can keep their lifeline, that would be a huge advantage. That would be a huge advantage. All right, so we're gonna keep the trackers at the bottom here because they are gonna go for the spade card game. They just gotta get through 2-1 first. And they are they are, they are exactly tied with their timers. 25 in the level. Oh, Booba's in the lead actually by a little bit. A very nice 2-1 action. All right, they both finished up, very nice. And just like that, so 
Uh, Teeks normally gets out of the card very fast, where Ibuba um, collects different items at different times. He did find the 10, Teeks did get the 10, Ibuba is gonna go right for the 10 right there, and Teeks is out of there. Ibuba got the extra Fire Flower, got the extra Star, and he's gonna get out of there right now as well. Very nice, dude. All right, let's go back up. No moat for Teeks. Okay. Oh! Teeks takes damage and falls in the moat! That is a big, big twist right there. I'm gonna, we're gonna see instant lifeline, right? Whoa. Moat of Tears, and he taking damage. But he's still in first place in time. He's still in first place with time. Going a little slow here. Ooh, oh, it, it, I think that juggled him a little bit. I think that juggled him a little bit. And he's gonna catch up a lot here. I mean, Ibuba can still lose his Fire Flower. We don't know, right? Teeks lost Fire Flower and fell in the moat. All right, Teeks gonna fight his first Hammer Brother. Gonna move backwards or forwards? Forwards right away, and the RNG's not working. Very rough go for Teeks. Not gotten any points except for Spade Card Game. Also been punished. Ibuba gonna go for the Red Rocket. It's looking good so far, and it's in there. Wow, it did the clip. Teeks is also gonna go for Red Rocket now. Very nice for Teeks getting the Red Rocket. He's gotta feel good about that. He's getting the points back. He's already fought his first Hammer Brother, so he's still in the lead by a little bit. And uh, Teeks really needs Ibuba to not get, get good RNG here. Really needs him to not get good RNG here. If you got early hammer, you definitely sh wouldn't, you know, wouldn't have wanted to go for that either. Nope, you guys, everyone knows in the points tournament to not let mistakes and loss of points and punishment points and stuff get to you because it can twist. Booba's not in the lead right now. Booba has not fought a hammer brother yet where Teeks has. All right, Teeks is gonna go down to level five as well. Very nice, all right, Ibuba still not fighting his first hammer. Oh, and Ibuba is caught in a very uncomfortable situation. He might have to re-go to the spade card game. That's exactly what Teeks would want him to do. Teeks only gets one backwards bro. Very unfortunate. Come on, Ibuba. Get those forward bros, man. Get those forward bros. Yeah, Ibuba can really get scammed here. That's true. He could definitely get scammed hard here. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, very nice. Yep, he got luck. Oh, and the Hammer Brother moved forward. That is good for Teeks, but bad for Ibuba. Unfortunate. We really wanted to see two forward moving bros or two backward moving bros in a in a matchup here, but not gonna happen. Teeks is still in the lead by a little bit here. Not much though. He's gonna move slow because he's gotta get his fire flower. There we go, just like that. It is tied up. It is tied up because Teeks is in the lead for time right now. What what Ibuba needs is for Teeks not to get any points in World 3. And then Ibuba's... Ibuba's looking pretty good. Yeah, no throne jump for Ibuba, unfortunately. So neither runner can go for the... get the throne jumps anymore. Unfortunate. <sighs> this is nuts.
Good old airships. All right, Teak's got his fire flower back. Hopefully he doesn't mess around with this fire kill. He's still in the lead. On Teeks' timer, he grabbed the wand at 10.21, and Ibuba grabs the wand at 10.24. Two seconds, two, two to three seconds ahead. That's it. Oh my God, this game! That's too much. All right, Teeks is gonna be the first one to go for the frame. Perfect jump here. Does he get it? He does get it! Oh my gosh, this could be big for Teeks. Oh, and Ibuba gets it as well. Neither runner get the point. Wow! Just when you thought it couldn't get any more even, they both get it, man. They both get it. All right, it's all up to world three. What are we gonna do? Coin ships, fanfares, runaway bros, door threes, fours, sixes? Let's see. All right, Teex is on the one-way ticket, man. One-way ticket to runaway bro. Let's see if he can get peace speed in this level. Ibuba is also on his way to runaway bro. Teex has already taken damage um, and lost his fire flower. So that kind of stress is gone, but Ibuba has not. Uh, Teex going through the buffering again. The same thing happened to him last time with the buffering. Uh, hopefully his internet doesn't get doesn't get um, lost here. Oh, I know that internet life, man. I know that internet life. Let's give uh, Teeks a good old refresh here. There we go. Back in action. Back in action. I Booba got runaway, bro. But we don't know if Teeks did because we didn't see the end of the level. Okay, no. Let's see if Teeks got runaway. Teeks also got runaway. Wow. All right. They both got runaway. Very nice. Oh, like I said, Teeks is already taking damage, so he's okay. Oh, man. Booba in an annoying situation. Teeks gets door four. Amazing. Booba is going to go for the hammer here, being as he got runaway, bro, anyways. He had to stop and wait. That, that pause there, that time. That time, double checking, that, that could hurt here. Let's see what happens. Oh man, Ibuba really needs to get door four here. Oh, and Ibuba does not get the door four, unfortunate. Does the Hammer Brother come back? He does not, so Teeks is going to be able to use his Cloud Scroll Down. Very nice. And we, we, we already have seen that using that, getting the Hammer in World 3 and using it in World 4 doesn't really actually uh, do anything with any kind of time saves, unfortunately. Um, so Ibuba is gonna need uh, some, he's, he's behind by a good chunk of time now. Unless he fights the star and just bites the bullet for time, right? Unless he fights the star and bites the bullet for time. Very nice for Ibuba. That's the exact position he wants. And he also saves. Oh, and Teeks, that's two H jumps missed for Teeks in a row. Not having a good time here. Uh, Teeks has already lost his fire flower in world two, but Ibuba has not. Ibuba has not. All right, Teeks is gonna go ahead and finish up World Four. There you go, and he sees he's quite he's quite a ways behind here. He's going to bring some time back by not having to do the fortress, but also not having to do the fortress makes for a slightly easier world for uh, in terms of grabbing the cloud and music box and getting out of there. 
when you when you have to do the fortress, you got to do that one extra level that allows your hammer brother to move, and that could really cause some disaster. It has not happened actually in a while. Uh, quite a few races recently that has not happened. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Remember what we said, if iBooba loses here, we're gonna have to do an iBooba versus the Bagler. iBooba with the H jump, gonna catch up a little bit of time here on Teeks. Very nice. Um, but if iBooba wins, then we will not be doing a round three. We will be comparing Teeks's and Bagler's points throughout the season. See who got third place. Just like that, Teeks is on his way out of the airship. Just like that. Alright, so Teeks is in first place. Ibuba is in second place. Both got their spade. And Ibuba not having a whole lot going on here with the card, but he hasn't been punished yet the way Teeks has. Teeks is not going to get the no loss fire flower point here, right? Because he already lost it. But Booba is going to get it. It's going to tie them up. Even though he's in second place, I've already applied the second place punishment, as you can see. So they are officially tied right now. Going on to world four for both these runners. Not iBooby yet though, but Teeks. Teeks is there. So this is some business here. This is some business. Teeks is going to get the bottom piece speed. Very nice. So the reason Booba fought the Hammer Brother with the hammer is because he was unable to... Oh, I'm moving to four here. He was unable to use the music box in a way where he was comfortable without getting screwed over by losing the point. So the way he did it is he took the time sacrifice for potentially not losing an extra point, which is really good in his position because he definitely is tied up now. He's definitely tied up now. Very nice World 3 for him. Neither runner has used their lifeline yet. Yeah, that's a movement of two right there. Fatigue's no marathon yet. Very nice for Teeks. That's a great 4-3. All right, here comes Booba. Booba needs to make sure that he gets... Oh! Misses it. He's in a good position, though. Very nice. Very nice. 8-8. Eight, 8-8. Eight. Eight, eight. All right, now Teeks is doing the fortress. Now you can see, you know, grabbing that hammer there, you know, for the... If you get runaway, it's not going to help you too much. All right, Teeks had a bad time last time with this. He gets a great time this time. Very nice for Teeks. I booba, man. He does it very awkward there, but he, he makes it work, man. He's good at it. He's good at it. All right, Teeks get a movement. Ah, oh, man, that's not it. That's a movement of four. And like I said before, Teeks is in an awkward position here. If these Hammer Brothers switch, Oh man, what's he gonna do, right? Where Ibuba is actually kind of in that same position here, unfortunately. Ibuba's in a very, very annoying position. All right, let's see what happens for Teeks here. No marathon yet for Teeks. No Hammer Brother switch, and wow, and he, oh no, oh no. If they go together and then they both go right, that is going to be so bad for Teeks. That could happen. Let's see what happens. Oh, they both went left. Oh, Ibuba got incredibly lucky right there. Hammer! Hammer! What are you doing? What? What's going on? What is going on? No! That is the cloud. They, I, they didn't switch. What just happened? What just happened? That's the cloud, isn't it? 
Am I crazy or is that the clown? Booba fell asleep in his inventory. That's the cloud, is it not? Play. This isn't safe though. He can't go back and grab it. He can't go back and grab it. Right? That, I, get, I understand it though. No, I understand what he did there. I understand. Yeah, he's gotta go for it. He's gotta go for it. Yeah, apparently Teeks just took a star as well. Are you guys sure? Are you guys sure Teeks just took a star? Oh, this is insane. Ah, that's... That's good. Oh no, now Ibuba's boss battle is, is a little roughed up. So hopefully Ibuba knows that he's gotta do 5-9. Wow, what an insane World 4, guys. That was way too crazy. But unfortunately, Ibuba is behind by a lot of time there. A lot of decision making um, and a lot of having to kind of figure out what he wants to do next. And unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get that cloud. So he's going to have to do an extra level. Hopefully, he chooses the right level to do. Hopefully, he chooses the right one to do. But Ibuba does not have the stars yet. So that could be big. That could be big. His 7-4 is not the right level, guys. That is not... That is not the level. <laughs> yeah, well... He, d he doesn't have the extra cloud right now, I don't think, right? Or does he? Maybe he does. No, he, he knows they didn't switch. He didn't fight it in case the Hammer Brother went right and up. And then he had to fight the star. So he put it to sleep. But I think he got confused that the Hammer Brother was going to run back because he had beat the level so that he couldn't do anything. And he skipped the fortress too. So the lock wasn't open. There's nothing he could do about it. If he was in that exact same situation, he could have used the music box, fought the fort, went in the pipe transition, came back out, fought the Hammer Brother. Right? No, he would have done the Fortress, he would have done 4-4, that's right. Yeah, it's tough stuff, man, tough calls. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're getting in a crazy meta, man. You never know what the Hammer Brothers are gonna do to you. But regardless of all of that, it's not gonna take away the hype. It's not going to take away the commentary's hype. Alright, Teeks with a good fly in there. Teeks has a very, very big time lead right now. Starting off with a movement of four. Very nice for Teeks and Ibuba going right through the boss, man. That is such an annoying thing. All right, here we go, Teeks. And the only thing that we can see is Teeks missing the grab there, right here, which it works for him every time. It's great. All right, Ibuba needs to get... So Ibuba's not that far behind. He is missing a cloud, though. Um, and either 5-9, and then he can do the cloud combo at the end of World 7, or cloud 5-9 and just cloud combo, or not cloud combo at the end of World 7. I'm not sure. I think doing 7-9 and having 7-9 go pretty well is going to be faster than 5-9, but we'll see. Alright, Ibuba, let's go. 
Bring it home, Booba. Teeks' is, is lead is too big right now. But Teeks has an inventory star, though, right? That's a big deal. Nice tail swipe. Nice. Very nice, man. He's got it, right? He's got it. Very nice. He's got it. All right. He's not... Neither runner are letting each other catch up. Very nice, man. 28 to 28. Very nice. Fortress for Booba. Very clean. Knows what he needs to do. No fire flower loss, so, that, so you know, pretty easy. Teeks out of coin ship range. Getting out of the twisty castle. Get one movement of four so far for Teeks. That's it. I booba no movements of four yet. Ah, I booba got a movement of two there, not a movement of four. All right. Teeks with the big, big jump. Very nice. And now we're gonna have to see for oh, another movement of four. This could be big, man. And early P speed here. He does get early P-Speed. Wow, man, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Teek's going for the full clear world five. He's gotta get that one last movement of four. And then he's gotta hope that Booba misses five five for early P-Speed. Nice, I Booba out of coin ship range as well. Nice, he's now up in the clouds. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. And Teek's not getting the movement of four. Not yet, at least. Not yet, at least. Ibuba actually almost dying there. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared, man. He does nail it though, very nice. And now Ibuba has a big job right here. He has to take this point away from Teeks. He has to. He doesn't get a movement of four either. He's gotta take this point away. He knows what to do. He is gonna use a star, right? He's gonna wall rub, wall rub, wall rub, and he does get it, very nice. Oh, and he keeps that P-Speed. Look at that combo. The Teek's still not getting a movement of four here. That's getting that pipe, though. That's some good pipe strats. Neither runner is going to get that early P-Speed. And I don't know if Teeks is going to get the movement of four. He's got two levels left to figure it out. No movement of four for Ibuba. Ibuba hasn't got a single movement of four yet. Nice, he's a little scared, so he doesn't want to get Fire Flower. Don't blame him. Don't blame him, he's gonna to want to go a little slow here. But it's not even like much slower either. It's just, he, he just wants to go without re-grabbing it, grab it on the airship. Or not grab it at all. He doesn't have to worry. I mean, if Teeks misses the duck input here, hey, it's not going to though. Hi Booba, not getting the movement. Yeah, he's gotta get that music box. Double checking too, it's a good double check. And this is where we, oh, no movement of four for Teeks. It's where we're gonna see a big difference here. I boob it with a movement of two. Still no fire flower. No lifelines yet from either of our runners, guys. on the airship so we, so now we get to figure out what ibuba is gonna do i mean he's not gonna it's possible he's forgotten already that he doesn't have the cloud that's very possible we have seen some runners make mistakes of their inventory so what's he gonna do is he gonna five nine is about 50 it's an additional 50 seconds sadly excuse me it's a, it's in like an additional 50 seconds All right, so let's see what Ibuba is gonna do. Yep, he knows. All right, so this is his choice. I don't know how well he knows this level, but there are a few jumps that you have to be, you have to remember, right? And I don't think Ibuba does 100%. Yeah, 
Yeah, he knows about that jump. All right. All right, he knows about that. That's good. All right, so he probably... Does he know about the stand still? Yes, he does. Very nice. Oh! Yeah, get out of the level. Yeah, get out of... Oh my gosh, so scary. All right, Ipuba is now back on track, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, and that was that overly cautious play of not getting the star. When it turned out, Teeks ended up getting the star anyways, so they would have been tied regardless if he got the star. It would have been in that same position. However, now, Ibuba can get away with no stars, and uh, he'll actually be ahead by one point. Hammer Brother switch, that's pretty good for Teeks, especially if the other Hammer Brother moves up. Teeks' first was a high pattern. Teeks got high first. Alright, very nice for Teeks. Grab the star. Looking pretty good, and hopefully the Hammer Brother moved up, and he did. So that is the star right there. Um, not that it matters, but he still doesn't want to do the extra Hammer Brother, right? I mean, now, well, that's actually interesting to think about. Now that Teeks has the star already, the inventory star, he should fight all the Hammer Brothers to try and guarantee high-low pattern, right? I mean, I would. That would make sense, wouldn't it? That's the kind of advantage that I guess you have. You get a double, you get a double take, right? I would. Go for it. He's not gonna... Well, I guess he'll go for it after, right? Alright, very nice for your uh, Teeks. Gonna equip the P-Wing and go for the despawn strat. And Ibuba finishes up the airship. As you can see, that decision he made in World 4. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna have to go back up. A little bit of confusion there. Ibuba is playing amazing considering the... Um, considering what's been going on for him. Um, the decisions he's had to make, World 3 messed him around, and World 4, so... Um, seeing how he played it out makes total sense to me now, like, I totally get why he did what he did, and it was never a bad play, so... Uh, Teeks got two high patterns, so he should go for the star here, right? That would make sense. Meanwhile, Ibuba is going to get that low pattern that Teeks is looking for. So, yes, Teeks is going to go back and go for it. Does he get low pattern? He gets low pattern. The Pog Champ plays, man. The Pog Champ plays amazing. Ibuba getting low pattern and Teeks being able to clutch the high low there with that. Very nice. He's got to be thinking pretty good about that right now. He's got to be thinking pretty good about that. So, let's hope that Ibuba can just simply get that without having to do the extra bro, right? And Teeks has got quite a few slowdowns in this world. Ibuba's is definitely going to catch up a little bit here. I thought Teeks was going right in that hole there. Nice. Ibuba going for the safety strap. Wasn't sure if his star was going to run out there. Not quite sure, but it's still looking good. All right, here we go. T uh, Booba in a pretty good position. That is the star right there, wouldn't it be? Yeah, Ibuba's looking for high pattern here. All right, so that is that is the Hammer Brother he wants. That's up there. That's good. That's a good spot, especially if the Hammer Brother switch for him. If the Hammer Brother switch, he's gonna be in a good position here. Uh, Teeks going for the sub-pixel manipulation. Ibuba can bring some time back here. If he gets the despawn, he definitely got it. And Teeks needs to get first try wall jump here. Doesn't rub the wall, and he does get it. Very nice. Very nice for Teeks. First try wall jump. Ibuba's got to make sure he doesn't get that. Hammer Brother switch for Ibuba. That's amazing, and... He gets high pattern. There it is. So Ibuba got um, high and low and no extra stars. But again, it ties it right back up if he doesn't get that wall jump. All 
My boobas, they're tech, they're, they're kind of tied right now. We have to wait for booba to get to the wall jump here. All right, Teeks. Teeks not being able to get a whole lot here from World 6, especially by grabbing the stars there. No leaf. Gets wall jump first try though, but we don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know. This will be a huge play for Ibuba if he takes that wall jump away from Teeks. If he takes that wall jump away from Teeks, that's that one point advantage. I've already given Ibuba the punishment point for getting in second place. Here we go. No sub pixel manipulation. He wall rubbed. Oh, he had the pixel, but he messed up his, his uh, input. So now, oh, that's two times now. There it is though. Damn, dude, he had the he had the right sub pixel. He had the right sub pixel, but he didn't get the A press. Thirteen to thirteen. Not if he can get this clip, though. No way, man. No way. No way. No way. No way. Oh, he almost actually got it. Wow. He almost actually got it. That would have been the most insane game changer. Kind of like how season two went. Season two finale. He's going for the guaranteed sub pixel 15. All right. Just like that, Ibuba is out of world six. Moving on to world seven. These runners are tied, man. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy, man. All right, here we go. He's got to get first try. Guaranteed. No lifeline yet for me, the runner. Teeks getting that first try, 7-1, very nice. Ah, there you go, There, there's Ibuba's wall jump he needed. No pipe to pipe though. Oh, he knows it. Now, we have seen runners enter 7-6 before. And we have seen runners lose a minute to 7-6 before. So they, they, this game is still anyone's because of the points, man. Oh man, I love watching everyone be all scared with the no bonks, but like it makes sense. Hi Booba not getting a first try. Not second try, come on. Yes, third try, very nice for Ibuba. He's gonna go for sub pixel manipulation. He's all over the place. Ah, I don't I don't think he got it. I don't know what that was, man. That seems a little rough. No bumps. Let's see if he gets it. The double points. Oh wow. That's gonna be tough, man. 
First try clip and 183, man. That's going to be tough to top. Teeks has been in season one, two, and now in season three. And I think he's just sick and tired of getting knocked out. He is done with that. Now he's got the stars. Now he's got all these items. I feel like he almost died there, man. That was way too close. All right, no bumps for Ibuba. Nice. Ibuba doing great in 7-2. He's coming up with 7-3. No punishment, right? No punishment. No box from either runner. Teeks loses his hammer suit. What in the actual heck is going on with the hammer suit for Teeks? Damn, what was that? Awkward position. Is he going to equip the fire? He is. Oh, he's going to music box preemptively. No bump for Ibuba. No punishment either. No bonks for Ibuba. Very nice. He's got to get these two points here. Not let Teeks get any points on him. Ooh, Ibuba looks like he's in the clear. Teeks does a very nice fire flower strategy in the fortress here. He's out of there. He is out of there. All right, Ibuba looks like he's in a great position to get first try clip. Let's hope he gets it. Tie these points back up. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have, right? That would have tied it up, which means it was still, but I think with that loss of point right there, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's gonna be a little tough here. Booba, Booba behind in time to the point where he unfortunately cannot... The hands aren't going to control too much here, but we got to stay positive. We always got to stay positive. Very nice. Right, Booba going to keep his hammer suit. He's not going to lose it. Not going to get smashed here. Oh, the same thing happened to Ibuba that happened to Teeks. The exact same thing. What happened there? No lifelines yet, guys. All right, here we go. We got the cloud. Yeah, no bonks. No bonks for Teeks. All right, last last stretch here for Ibuba. Oh my God, Teeks! If you got stunned there, holy crap! All right, no bonks, no bonks for Booba. Ibuba using his lifeline. Very nice for Ibuba. We're just gonna give him a random point here. Um, he got door four. Okay. Use this lifeline, so we are now tied 16 to 16. Teeks is already placed first, and Boob is placed second, so they're tied right now in points. Absolutely tied. Oh, and just like that, Teeks used his lifeline as well. Both runners used their lifeline in World A. Very nice. So Teeks used his lifeline and is back up 16 to 17. The double lifeline, guys.
Neither runner knows that they use their lifeline. They DM it to me. I mean, unless they told each other first. All right, unless they have their own DM, DM conversation, which in that case, I've got no control over that one. Insane. Insane. Auto scroller land. Auto scroller land. So being as the points are the way that they are, this is still anyone's game, guys. This is still anyone's game right here because... Well, no, Ibuba has to get two points over Teeks. So I think Teeks has to get... Teeks would have to die here and not get combo point where Booba doesn't die and gets combo point. This is crazy. All right, auto scrollers, man, the suspense. I mean, hopefully Teek still gets no hands, right? I mean, he still wants to go fast. I said he still wants to get sub 54. He said last night in practice he got a 52-55, which would've been an extra point. That's that's big game points right there. Um, and Ibuba needs to make sure that he gets all the points he can here and Teeks needs to lose a point here. Being as Teeks can't get a fanfare and he also can't get a coin ship here. Here we go, Teeks with the hands. Get your bets in, guys. Get your hand bets. Here we go. Teeks always gets the hands. I've seen him get lucky with the hands once, where he got like two no hands in a row one time. We called him the hand god, and then now he like never gets no hands. But we all get hands and no hands. All right, backwards bro for Ibuba, that's good. I mean, the boomerang's on the screen less time, right? That's still faster. I, Teek's gonna get two hands here, not bad. I'm very, very into this right now. All right, here we go. Combo points. Teeks needs to make sure he doesn't miss any points here. Like like last time, he messed up the 8-1. He has to make sure he doesn't mess up any points. Look 
looking good so far. Same thing! Same thing! Oh my goodness! It could get tied up here, man. It could get tied up. If Teeks misses Conveyor, then Booba can actually take this. If Teeks gets Conveyor, Teeks wins. Semi-finals. If Teeks misses Conveyor, he could lose. This is crazy. All right. All right. Everyone stay calm. Booba, you got this. Teeks, you also got this. Come on, guys. All right, Teeks, you have to get this. You have to get this. He gets it. Oh my gosh. Whoa. He has no idea that the entire win revolved around that. He had no idea. The best Booba can do is tie it unless Teeks dies here. Teeks could still take a death. That's very possible. Right? We're, we're taking it one step at a time, guys. We gotta take it one step at a time. Gotta take it one step at a time. Booba is finally finishing up Auto Scroller Island. I would love to pay more attention to the other screen, but it's just full of auto scrollers. Uh, Teeks is not on pace for sub-54, I don't think. Alright, Ibuba. Ibuba's gotta get these points in case Teeks messes up! Yeah, the race isn't over. Teeks needs to choke. I don't want anyone to choke. I don't want anyone to lose, like none of that stuff. All right, here we go. Booba did the first part of the combo point. All right, he's gonna bring it back here. Oh, Booba almost died right there. The ledge literally pulled him back up. If you could clip in this tile set, he would have clipped through the floor and died there. All right, Booba gets the combo point. Now Booba has to get conveyor. And Teeks, you have to not mess this up, man. Do not mess this up. And Booba does get conveyor. Wow, dude. If Teeks didn't get conveyor... Holy crap, 18-18, tied game so far. This is it. That's, oh man, I don't know. I really don't think Teeks could. And Teeks advances, guys. We have an 18-18 game again. Holy crap. 18, 18, two games in a row. Jesus, that's incredible. How did, like, we've never seen that. Every season of the points tournament just gets better and better. That is incredible, man. 18, 18, 36, 36 tie. We also had a tie yesterday, guys. We had a, didn't we have a 36, 36 tie yesterday? Both semis are tie games. What in the actual heck is going on, guys? This is so silly, man. 38-38 yesterday, a 36-36 uh, today. Wow. I think it's still going, though. Remember, remember how everyone was saying that Teeks, if he choked... Well, I mean, Booba can...
Uh, I didn't actually want to reseed this, the semis. No, I don't want to reseed. The seeding has been perfect this season from the very beginning. It's insanely perfect. While being as Booba lost here, Booba has to go up against Bagler for third place. Yeah, Teeks wins on time here. Booba knows that Teeks has won already, but Booba doesn't know the, the points here. What's the tiebreaker? Average time overall between two the both races. And Teeks won in time for both races, so he's gonna advance. Very nice for Booba. Oh, and he gets the crappy Bowser. Well, as long as he doesn't die, then we have the tie game here. All right, he's gonna go for the stomp kill. He's, he's still gonna make it under an hour, so he's good. You can confirm that seating was fantastic. I'm pretty sure most racers agree. I think Hacks is the only one who's complained about the seating. He thinks the seating was bad. It doesn't make any sense. It's been insane. Where have you seen this pattern before? Didn't you get this pattern on your PB attempt, Stu? Yo, guys, give a GG to both runners, man. Junior with the five gift subs for supporting the Warpless Points Tournament. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Thank you for supporting this tournament and helping me be able to afford the prize pool for these runners because they've done a great job. Thank you guys so much. What an insane race. These two finalists, we got Feropin versus Teeks in the final. Ibuba versus Bagler for third place. Hopefully we get that scheduled before the finals. We can see who takes home the cash. Oh, man. Oh, man. Both semifinals. got one hand. Yeah, they both got equal hands. Absolutely insane. 